Today I'm going to show you how to almost cut your baking time in half when baking more than one loaf using a Dutch oven. How do you like them apples? Hi, I'm Soon and I'm a food geek. Today I'm going to show you how you can bake a lot faster using a simple technique called two-stage baking. I was introduced to two-stage baking when I read the instructions for the Forno bread oven, and it's so simple that I don't understand why I didn't come up with it myself. I did use it when baking in the Forno, but I thought I'd make a separate video for you all uh, that are not interested in reviews. The technique is super easy. Essentially, you just brown one loaf while the other one is inside the Dutch oven being steamed. But, you ask, we usually bake hot and then brown colder? And the browning phase is usually longer than the steaming phase? Well, don't worry, I've worked it all out for you. If you're new to this channel, I bake a lot of sourdough bread and I make delicious food from all over the world. If you want to see more of this content, please join me by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss any future videos. I'll be using my Challenger bread pan for this bake, but this technique works for all methods where you cover the bread to steam it. It cannot be used if you generate steam in the oven. I'll be baking my favorite bread today. It's called bread from Skagen, and it's a loaf with toasted sunflower seeds and poppy seeds inside and covered in sunflower seeds and poppy seeds on the outside. It's very, very delicious. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider becoming a member at Patreon. You can also buy some merch or use the links in the description for tools and ingredients. Those were the words. This is the technique. All right, so the first thing I do is heat the oven to 230 degrees Celsius, 450 degrees Fahrenheit with the Dutch oven inside. I heat for 30 minutes. The Dutch oven should be placed to the side so that there's room to brown the bread beside it. If there isn't room on the side, maybe you can make room over or under the Dutch oven on a wire rack. Then I prepare my dough for baking. I take it out of the fridge. I dust the bottom to help it slide easily off the peel. I flip it onto the peel. Then I score it. And I add it to the Dutch oven. I put the lid on and bake for 25 minutes. Then about a minute before the 25 minutes are up, I prepare the second dough. I dust it. I flip it onto the peel. Notice how I'm placing the dough on the left side of the peel because I placed my Dutch oven to the left. I score it. Then I open the oven. Remove the lid of the Dutch oven. Move the bread to the side of the Dutch oven. Then I grab the prepared dough, load it into the Dutch oven, put the lid on, and then I bake for 25 minutes. A minute before the 25 minutes are up, I prepare the third dough. I dust it, I flip it, I score it, then I open the oven, take the finished loaf out, then I take the top off the Dutch oven, move the bread to the side, load the prepared dough, and then I put the lid on top again, and I bake another 25 minutes. Then it's time to prepare the last dough. I dust it, I flip it. I score it, and then I take out the second finished loaf. I remove the top, move the loaf, put in the last dough, put the top back on, bake for 25 minutes. All right, we're in the home stretch now. I open the oven, take out the third finished loaf, and put it on a wire rack. I remove the top of the Dutch oven, 
bake for 25 minutes. Then I remove the bread and put it on a wire rack. The bake is finished after only 2 hours and 35 minutes. So as you can see, this is super easy and will save you both time and money. So what's not to love about it? For me, baking four loaves went from four hours straight to two hours and 35 minutes. If you combine this with starting the bake cold, you could probably save another 15 minutes depending on how fast your oven heats. On top of that, the oven isn't constantly getting heated up to a high temperature, then taken down to a low temperature and then back up which will substantially save more electricity and it just seems like an absolute win. I hope you learned something today. See you next time.